Oh my goodbye. god, bro! Show me a f payment made to him. There isn't one. Oh, I don't blanket believe anything. You guys made this accusation. You made it up because you have Biden derangement syndrome. You just made it up, and you're expecting me. Oh, you just don't believe? No, I don't believe your. Show me the payment for it. There's absolutely no payment from Hunter Biden to Joe Biden. Yeah. Matt, Serious what's going on? What's your take? Win, what's going to happen? What? What? If Trump wins, what's going to happen? I'm being serious. I'm not trying to. We'll find out. I don't think he's going to win. There's a, there's a chance. Why don't you guys ever ask this question about Biden winning? Yeah, what are you guys going to do if Biden wins? Who is you guys? You always do this. Conservatives. I mean, you guys, I mean, real, you guys have a hive mind. You all think alike. All the arguments. I mean, not, I'm going to be honest. It's you're one of the question. It's the same stuff all the time, you know? You're not like the worst one, but you're still regurgitating those talking points. It's just confusing. But man. I mean, like, like why well, I, I don't even know where you guys get off making this 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 assessment that Donald Trump's going to win. Like you've lost seven elections in a row. He's never broke forty two percent approval rating. He's still at forty two percent approval rating. He's not getting any more popular. He's not getting any more voters. Those people that are undecided, they're not undecided in favor of him, man. They're just trying to figure out if they're going to vote for Biden or not. So like, there's it's not no way in your you benefit. Can say he's not gaining popularity right now. I can <laughs> say that Donald Trump has never in his presidential history gained more than 42 to 43 percent support. At one point in the first month, he was at 45. That dropped off, and he's remained below 42, 43 percent ever since. I know it's a crazy small sample size, but. I was not going to vote for him, but after this, I am. And I've seen so many people do the same. And it's like. After after what? After what? Becoming you're a felon? For a felon that, you're voting for a felon that violently essayed a woman that defrauded a children's cancer charity that has 30 essay allegations that quotes funny so mustache man on a regular basis what that did, talks about like, shooting migrants. What so he did in Clinton what's in the terms of what? Clinton paid off he falls some thousand dollars right, because anyway. the crime is not is, hush money. It is the falsification of that in furtherance of another crime. It has nothing to what do the, with hush money. At no point is a central thing. hold on, a central component of this crime at no point is the hush money, right? It's not the fact that she was paid. That's not the argument here. It's that he falsified right. business records. He forged business records to try and conceal what wasn't either an illegal campaign contribution or him with taxes which was part of that, or influencing an election, which multiple people testified that he did. But you're trusting a known perjurer liar. No, I'm not. I'm trusting David Pecker. No, I'm not. I'm trusting David it Pecker. Not, I'm trusting the people. I, I don't know why. I'm trusting. Here's a funny point. I'm trusting the same people that Donald Trump did. Isn't that funny? I don't need to trust Michael Cohen, though. There's an audio recording of Donald Trump admitting to it. There are his signatures. Uh, there's David Pecker's testimony. There's Hope Hicks' testimony. I don't need Michael Cohen as a, as a factor in this. You do You're because literally there's sitting nothing. here saying, I'm going to vote for a guy that defrauded a children's cancer charity. Can you can you ever, can, can, I mean, I conceptualize that. that. Apply that apply, apply that to your mother. If your don't mother or your Almost father died. or someone you respected, okay, well, someone you significantly respected, right? It comes yeah. out they defrauded a children's cancer charity. There's no coming back from that. And you don't know this guy at all. For sure. It's sad. I don't even, I, I you can't even, like, right now. I've never heard that. Right. Can you give me like one? Can you give me like three reasons you want to vote for Trump? It's the same reason why he beat Hillary. He's a better option. I don't like him as a president. Why? Him, but he's a better why? option. What's, the, what's he done that's better than Joe Biden? I feel like you can trust him more. I feel like he's told over 30, uh, the fraudster, lives. the fraud, the guy that literally was owes oh, oh, five million dollars. The guy that said he two days ago, he, he never. So Donald Trump said two days ago, he never said he locked her up. That is crazy, man. That is one he of the most absurd things I think I've ever he never heard said in this lock her up. I'm not That's grandstanding. I didn't hear that either. I'm but not no, grandstanding. That's one of the craziest things. You can trust Donald Trump more, the guy that violently essayed a woman? Who has a verdict of defamation against him? Who lied about winning the election? But that's who what three like, members of, the guy his, you can trust? of his inner circle has now been convicted on an election? Literally, literally, Bro, literally I got a question. When's the election? last time he When's the last time he told the truth? But do you not see that they're all doing When's the last thing he said that was the truth? What was the last thing that he said that he was the truth? We'll go through them. You pick one. I'll go over it. Maybe it's not. What's the last thing this guy said that's true? That if it wasn't him, that this 
case would have never been brought to to a trial. It's brought this all is the, the time. the most prosecuted case in that district, in the Southern District of New York. And the fact, oh, it's weird too. How come the judge got into, so there's wait, a pool. Wait, what's the last, what, can that? you tell me one thing? Mm -hmm. What's the last thing that Donald Trump said that's true? I said it, that it wouldn't be prosecuted if it wasn't him. I just I, disproved Jayden it. Jaden just told you. You just proved it with a with a opinion. I said, that is, <laughs> that's not an opinion. That is the most. No, the yours most. is an opinion. Bro, <laughs> right. yours is an opinion. Jaden is a prosecuted case in the Southern, Southern District of New York. It's the what? That is the most prosecuted it, case out of the Southern District of New York. Falsification of business records is the single most charged crime out of the Southern District of New York. If this wasn't Donald Trump, he not only would he be convicted, he would already be in prison and he would have been in prison two years ago. The only reason this case took this long was because they were trying to solidify it because it's Trump. And he was given a judge... three week trial where it should have been a one week trial. I agree on that. Why, why does a judge he gave that wasn't ten in their little loop, there's supposed to be a 24 judge loop and there's supposed to be a random judge. Why was this judge assigned to that case? I think it was a random assignment. I don't know why it matters. He's not in that loop. What, what are you talking about if it doesn't matter? If it's what do you mean he's random, not in that loop? Not one random person, they're supposed to choose yeah. from 24 judges, and he was not in that pool of judges. He was assigned to Where are you getting that he wasn't in that Just pool? Just on what? Your boy. And why that's would why it I'm matter? Our not. boy, can you prove that? I don't I mean, that's think why I so, asked, no. I haven't seen you back about that it. up, please, Matt? You're making an accusation. Can you back it up with something of substance? You hear me ask if it's true? I'm asking if it's true. I don't. I don't. I don't think so. I haven't heard anything about that ever. I'll tag you in the video that I saw, because I don't believe half so, the stuff. So, Donald Trump was convicted by a jury of his peers. That's what we all. The evidence do. that was presented. No, it's not. Was what? pretty overwhelming. You Most of us read. You don't get no, any. I, news. At no point do I get my news from TikTok. You don't no. anything on that. I'm so no. never on this app. The only I'm thing that I no, the only lives. thing that I really, the only thing that I really get from TikTok is uh when there's videos attached or if there's an expert like a subject matter expert or that's what i'm talking about watching videos like that's what i'm i'm not saying i'm not capable of reading i know but you get the, let's easy. yeah but the right wing videos they just make sure is the question they just no, make they're both. i get i swear i get every, i get middle i'm not like hardcore republican i'm not really I mean, yeah. like, I, I just, so back to the question, can you tell me something that Donald Trump has said that was true recently? Like the last time he said something that was true? I'd have to go through a list of whatever he said. Because he hadn't said anything true about this trial. I definitely think he said a bunch of lies, which can be said about both sides. So he's not trustworthy then? Okay, then how is he more trustworthy? It, which, which one do you want to choose? Well, I, they're both... Crooked life. Yes. I would. I would not. How are you determining the line of severance here? That he is indefinitely more trustworthy for you. I. I'll agree. Joe Biden definitely stretches the truth. Sometimes outright lies. Nothing to the degree that Donald Trump is. It's like comparing a pathological liar to you know a white some guy that white just tells lie. white lies. There was it's something just not that in said the same realm. Like Joe Biden saying 122 LLCs in our name. The Biden family. No. It's How many do they have? But it, it's not the Biden, Biden family. It's Hunter and Devin. Hunter and Devin. Donald Trump, or sorry, Joe Biden has like one or two that are attached to his book deals. But this is commonplace. This happens all the time. People have limited liability companies attached to numerous different uh, entities that because they don't want the 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 one that's in control of those, right? The, they don't want the, the one... Um, like being affected by it. So they'll have an LLC for a dedicated business to protect it from lawsuits and protect the parent company from lawsuits. This happens all the time, all the time. Donald Trump has uh, endless ones. If it's two, I get it. He sets them up and, and gets rid of them all the time. That's crazy. No, and sure. then what there's about 20 something? So talk about Hunter Biden. Do you think Hunter Biden's going to jail? Do I Probably think not. he's going to jail? Uh, yeah. I don't. Think He's on trial, so, but I think that he'll be. Con I think he'll probably be convicted. It's going to be a difficult thing to convince a jury, though, that he would that he ha he had the prerequisite state of mind being an addict. But it probably is going to be convicted. Yeah, there's no chance that you can just be like, "Hey, I was high." It doesn't count. Actually, that's what the Fifth Circuit ruled. The Fifth Circuit ruled this. That that's also what Lindsey Graham has come out with. Well, you guys should be against this, man. If you're pro gun. You should be against this. Yeah, Lindsey Graham is out there defending him. Stop saying you guys encompassing me with everybody. 
You're a conservative, man. Stop, stop, stop using their talking point. You, you, you are, you are a Trump points. supporter. I said I will vote for Trump in this election. I just I've have a question. I just have a question. I just, just a question, though. If it's political persecution of Donald Trump, why is Hunter Biden on trial? I don't think that that was anything to do. I think that he's just blatantly, blatantly being a criminal. He did it to so himself. Like, almost yeah. like, so himself. almost like Trump did it to himself because Alvin Bragg has nothing to do with the Justice Department or Biden. No, Trump's not sending pictures of himself like with prostitutes and a crack pipe. No, he's just well, paying he them off and then covering it up with those. legal means. Every politician pays them off. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, well, here's that's the thing. not the crime. You really, are we you, told you this, man. Are you You're really, older than me. You should know. Hey, bro, you just said that. Are you really Hunter comparing? I said paying it off citizen? and covering it up with illegal means. Did you miss that last part? I just want to be clear. Are you, you have honestly to prove saying that, like, to affect anyway. an election? Which, if you're the acting, if you're if you're the president, how does that? No, I don't have to prove that. That's so not, it's one of the things. There does not need to be unanimous decisions on whether or not the underlying crime is consistent across the board. Just that it was in furtherance of a crime. Did I miss something? Is Hunter in office and I wasn't aware? No, we're talking about Clinton. No, it, it's it's weird that like they can no, we the actions God, of an addict Clinton. that he's an addict, right? That is not in office to that of a pre former president, right? Is it? It's like it's the most a childish, the most childish thing. Well, Hunter Biden did it too. Okay, you're the president. You committed 34 felonies. And you want to overthrow democracy. And there's like, the I whole thing of Hunter Biden getting those jobs and Hunter Biden paying. Oh, my God. Hunter Biden. Yeah, nepotism is an ethical question, not a legal one. If Hunter if that's Biden your concern, paying, if that is your concern, Joe then the Biden, Kushners, then Joe Biden is then the Kushners are liable of crimes as well, right? Would you agree that that makes Joe Biden a criminal? Wait, if he's what is the crime? From Joe, from If he's taking... Payments from Hunter Biden. Yeah, he never did. And no, it wouldn't. He didn't do that, but that's not a crime. Y'all blanketly believe everything. And you're like, oh, he didn't do it. I don't he blanketly believe Oh my God, money. bro. Show me a f payment made to him. There isn't one. What? I don't blanket believe anything. You guys made this accusation. You made it up because you have Biden derangement syndrome. You just made it up. And you're expecting me. Oh, you just don't believe. No, I don't believe you're show me the payment for it there's absolutely no payment from hunter there's biden a, to joe biden yeah, and just because there's a payment dollars. no it's not it's from james biden and it's for a it's for a loan repayment and even if there's a payment made it doesn't inherently make it illegal yeah i can send money to my brother right now it, it doesn't make a, it illegal do you think they're gonna send a check and in the memo it's gonna say bribe so there is no evidence then is what you're saying no there's evidence what's the it's, evidence you've just presupposed that it's circumstantial evidence. The same That's not way circumstantial. It's not circumstantial That's because not they have the bank accounts of James Biden oh. and Joe Biden. So it's why not. did they say that they could charge him, but they're not because he's Because it's a facade. It's not even because, the same case. Because, I, listen, they literally cases. just That's make, you guys just, right, they just tell one. you stuff. They just tell There's you. So, so you're many. angry. They just tell you, man. So you're angry. There's no evidence that Hunter or Joe Biden committed crimes outside the one Hunter's being charged for. Okay, and so you can't find any evidence. Every room of your house. Would you think that your house was on fire? What is the like, smoke? Oh, no what is the smoke? What's I'll the smoke? The that he had businesses? Day. What? That he had businesses? Where's the smoke? He had businesses. He had legally licensed LLCs. They checked his bank records. They checked the bank, checked the bank records of his businesses. They checked Joe Biden's bank records. They checked James' ba bank, uh, bank records. And they found nothing. Where's the smoke? He, What's the crime? What's the criminal why, allegation? What crime did he, he commit? Lost, why has he lost over $700,000 since he's been in office? Why are you so concerned about I, the That smoke doesn't mean anything. I'm asking you... like. Yeah. I Want, because sorry, he's invested. Yeah. It I, all points what is, towards no, crime. What like, is the crime? What is the crime he committed and what is the evidence? I, I could say you're in here defending Donald Trump. You're in here defending the shit out of him. So you, there's smoke in your house. You've committed a crime. That would be stupid. If you're going to say that, you have to say, I believe he committed this crime and these are the things that he did to fulfill that crime. You guys are just saying, wow, there was money. They have money. Oh my God, I can't believe it. No shit. I guess Donald I Trump's going to prison forever. Bribes from the Chinese, and that's why. What's Hunter your evidence? That is the proof. What's your evidence? The checks. The what trail check? check. What check? The forty thousand dollar check that said give the it to the big guy. The forty thousand dollar check went to no. That doesn't have anything to do with that. 
The forty thousand dollar check 10%. was a repayment. No, the forty thousand dollar check was a repayment from James Biden, and they have it What's coming out of James of Biden account. Album? Listen, Tony Bob, it's part of a loan repayment. They have the check that was given by Joe Biden to James Biden six weeks prior. There are two payments, one for $200,000, one for $40,000 that were made after as a loan repayment. You don't have any evidence. You're saying, oh, $10,000 was sent by Jim. Look at the the the, the gymnastics you got to go through. Uh, Hunter Biden got paid and then he like, he had no problem it's paying. Not, Hunter Biden no, stop, talking. stop talking. Uh, Hunter Hunter Biden, talk stop talking. Stop talking. Hey guys, if you are enjoying the show, make sure you hit the like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And if you want to support the channel, you guys can become a YouTube member on this channel or preferably join the Patreon in the link tree in the bio. Also in the link tree is my TikTok, Instagram, Twitch, and the OK Hi YouTube, which I post news to on a regular basis. Enjoy the rest of the show. Hunter Biden had no problem moving money to Ashley Biden and had no money moving problem to Devin Archer or Tony Bobolinsky. But God, he just left his dad out of it for some reason because his dad needed the money for some reason that you can't stipulate. You don't have any evidence saying that James Bi James Biden paying Joe Bi paying Joe Biden forty thousand dollars is not evidence. And also, I don't know where you're getting the forty thousand or four hundred thousand dollars to Tony Bob or from their business deal and ten percent of that. You just made that the up and this is what you do right your argument has absolutely no bearing it's all over the place it doesn't make any sense it literally makes logical leaps to the moon and if you'd look at what we have to say about donald trump and the crimes that he's committed and how you're supposed to construct how somebody's committed a crime it's not that difficult we don't have to go like oh well well Do michael cohen made the payment for donald trump and and then the, but the, but there's no evidence but also that payment never went to stormy daniels but that's what you're saying it would be like oh the payment actually came from uh hope hicks and she got a payment from donald trump that means that she must have paid stormy daniels and stormy Dan it's just doesn't make any sense you're just making stuff up as you go. You would have to show Donald or Joe Biden got a bribe from China for doing X and that payment came through here. That payment went to him or went to his son, Hunter Biden. And then you could track it through James Biden and then to Joe Biden. The problem is you guys have the bank records and haven't found anything. You haven't found anything and they haven't impeached him. Why? Because there's no evidence. It's a charade. It's a show. Donald Trump took out a catch and kill. This is how simple it is. He took out a catch and kill scheme. He had Michael Cohen pay off Stormy Daniels. That payment was illegal. There was also tax implications. He told Hope Hicks and David Pecker that he did it to try and influence the election. They found his names on the check. They found the payments that came out of his bank. They found the 12 times or the 24 times that he moved payments around through his campaign with his signatures on it and the ledgers that were put in the books. And they testified that Donald Trump did nothing happen without his say so. And they have him on audio recording. Do you see how the evidence sort of flows in a narrative? Yours yeah, is no, just money, money, thing. money, 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 money. Bingo got him. The Biden crime so, family. One, you would make a lot more money as a prosecutor. Why was the prosecutor not able to lay it out that simply? They did. He did. That's why they won. Well, That's they why did. they won. Yes, that they was literally the, well, everything I just told you was what they the prosecutor did not even laid out. So the one to one. Half of the half of the crimes that they had to convict him of. They literally said you don't have to convict him of a certain crime. No, there just has no, to be no. That's not true. true. No, 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 no. I just no. I already told you this that there didn't have to be unanimous decision over the underlying crime, which is not normal. Yes, that no, is that normal. is normal. That, that is happens precedent. in. That happens. That's happened in you tens of thousands know. or hundreds you of thousands of cases in the United what States. The crime is this was supported by a team. Supreme Court case. Yeah. So this is so this is what's called right. So he was convicted on thirty four felony counts. The aggravating factor, okay, which made it a felony and not a misdemeanor, the jury does not have to be unanimous on. Right. The question is, did he attempt to commit a crime, or did he, was he doing it to conceal a crime, or was he doing it to influence an election? If any of those are true and the jurors believe that, yes, he falsified business records, but the, so they have to unanimously agree that he falsified business records. They also have to agree uh, that he attempted to conceal a crime or influence an election, but they don't have to like put themselves in his mind and be like, oh, he was committing this specific crime, just that he was attempting to conceal a crime. And this is precedent. This has been precedent. Nutcracker, appreciate it. All you have to do to shut this dude down is ask him why James Coomer hasn't moved to impeach uh, Biden if it's if all the evidence exists. That's true. Dubs they literally just said that they wouldn't prosecute him because he's too old. 
I know you know. No, they didn't. No, it. that wasn't Comer. Comer never said that. And they didn't. Not Comer. Didn't I, said, I, I said, you know the guy who did it. What's his that name? Didn't, that's not what he said. I read the what report. What did he say? He said and that Joe it? Biden would attempt to come off as an affable old man, and that would be his defense. Not that he believed he was too old to prosecute. But that he did commit crimes, right? No. No. Yeah. They found no evidence that he committed crimes. It's crazy whenever you can see the same thing and take two different things from it. I don't know I, what you're yeah. talking about, dude. I read the whole report, all 300 plus pages of it. They found a grand total of zero evidence, nothing, that Joe Biden broke the law. Irresponsible? Yeah. Broke the law? No. And you know that Trump has, has broken the law. You know that he's a felon. You know he's uh, SA, okay? And you're fine with that. I know. Why? Presumed convict. Was Pre hold on. Presumed criminal. So let me get the because logic right here. For him. He was just convicted. He was convicted. He was convicted of SA. What year? Matt, let me get you this. Last let me, year. Let me get this. He was convicted? Matt, stop yeah, talking. Let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Judgments. Shh. Judgments against. So hold, let's get this right. You can imply that Biden is a criminal. You can say he's a criminal with no evidence, no charges, no convictions. You're not even sure of the cases against him or the arguments against him. Uh, that, though, is enough for you to think that he's a full-fledged criminal. Donald Trump losing every single court case, including one involving major fraud through his entire business, violently essaying a woman, defrauding a children's cancer charity, defrauding people at Trump University, the Trump Organization's 17 felony counts of tax fraud, and the 34 felony convictions, all of these done with various juries. He's lost every single one of them. That's not enough evidence for you. So besides this case, why have they all been civil? Why are none of them legal? Why are this none last of one them was legal? The last I one was criminal. legal. Listen, listen, hey, I'm gonna say something. Why would okay? The well, Eugene Carroll case. Slow to us, man. I, besides this last case that was criminal, the fuck why is were the cockiness all of the tonight? Other ones. What, what would happen? Awesome, cool. So they could have charged him with crimes in the fraud case. You would have just called it anyways. So I don't no, even know why you're arguing it. You just would have called it bullshit. Yes. So why was he not prosecuted for that? Because she never came Statutes. forward the, for the statute of limitations. That's weird. So she came forward after he was president? No. No. She came forward after she had money. Let's see. Billionaire, violently SA's woman in department, girl in department store 40 years ago. How many years ago? Sorry, not 40, but 30, 25 years ago. It's a little bit different of a circumstance there. I don't know how you're defending the fact. It doesn't matter. He lost. He essayed her. And you're just sitting here trying to defend it. You're trying to find every out. He lost the case because he essayed her. He didn't turn over his DNA because he essayed her. He lost the fraud case because he committed persistent fraud. You guys never, again, never will you ever focus on the evidence of a case. You will only focus on the people involved or the timing that it I took place within. You will so never address the evidence against any of this. You will never address it. You will, the okay, moment so the I bring it up, you, you, will de 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 you will, you will, you'll deflect. The moment this is brought up, a judgment's not good enough against him. You got to focus on who's involved, who's the people, because that's the only way this makes sense. It only makes sense if you're able to claim that everything's rigged against you and the system's broken and all this other. Shit. He did it. Sorry, he has judged. There's what a reason the, he's losing everything. What is the evidence of the essay, and what is the evidence that he defrauded a cancer? Um, what's it called? A cancer charity. I don't know. His charity? signatures charity. on the records of him moving money away from the children's cancer charity that might have did it i i can't believe that but why is he not let me ask you a really question okay listen again if this is let's just put this into perspective here um if donald trump didn't essay e Jean carroll why did he not turn over his dna i'm not donald trump i don't know that's a simple question what reason would you have what reason would you have not to turn it over if he knows he didn't do it i mean why would you why would you help because that you would prove it wasn't you. you so if you feel like they're out to get you why would you try to help them because that would win your would case. Be, that was that helping help them? them. They'd be helping you. Are you saying it's a lose lose situation regardless? No, because if they had sex, they were, he you are was, saying it's a lose lose situation. You're saying anyway, if he gave up his DNA, it word. would be used against him and he'd still be found guilty. So it's a lose lose then, right? Yeah, because being found guilty in court doesn't make you guilty. You act like it's 100% like. What would make him innocent? Guilty, you are guilty. What would otherwise exonerate him in this case? I have no clue. If he had sex with her and then There's she nothing. said it was a. 
Sexual it wasn't assault, sex. Right? It he was said SA. he never met her. He said he never met her. He also lied during the deposition and said that he wouldn't, uh, he wouldn't even be attracted to her, and he he got her mixed up with his wife Marla. He mistook her for his wife. No clue. Cool. So what is that makes the buffering? <laughs> okay. The, is that the dial up well, buffering in? Yeah. No, he, tell uh, me what makes Biden right. better than Trump. He's not a rapist and he's not a felon. Uh, that's a really easy I, start. I mean, like, I don't know how you make it would be like the only, like the only two things you need, you know, like. So now it turned from essay to. Yeah, I, yeah. It I, I want to know. I, I yeah, want to know why you're the subject. Right. I want to know why you're defending. I'm asking this way. Y'all are like. Why are you voting? Why are you voting for a known felon and a known person convicted of a, a, a from liable of essay? Why? I don't think that he's a known felon. He's he, going. You don't he has that. 34 felonies against him. That's still pretty well known at this point. I don't know how you're out of the game on this one. If, if he if he is not past the if he does not get the thing overruled, then he will be a felon. No, he's no, a felon now. He is a felon now. He's a felon he now. Felon. Okay, he will be a felon until it's overturned. If it's overturned, it, I know you think that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's so. Crazy to me. Everybody's against us, but also somehow we're miraculously going to get this overturned. You guys do this all the time. Be, I'm going to be honest, man. It's so pathetic. It's beyond pathetic. It's like kids at a at a scrimmage baseball game where they're like, I struck him out. No, you didn't. Well, I'm the you didn't lose. I didn't lose him. It's, it's so sad, man. It's absolutely pathetic on every level. Like take some like literally just take one. Just like you guys can't take a loss. Right. You don't know yeah, how to yeah, take no. a loss. Losses yeah, are constructive. Like Stop talking. Losses are constructive for like human development. Right. You take a loss. You learn from it. You move on. You guys can't do that. You're just like, we never lost. Trump never lost. You guys said he was going to get the convi- or get 2020 overturned. That never happened. He lost 59 court cases. He lost every single recount. He lost in court. He's losing in court again. He has 19 of his co-defendants that were doing that stupid shit with him being convicted for trying to overthrow the United States election. And that's, by the way, not everyone. It, more, so people were, not more people were charged in Wisconsin. More people were just charged in Arizona. Donald Trump's labeled as co-defendant or as, as defendant, uh, co-defendant number one. He's going to be charged with this inevitably. So, so you, you guys just like he's a felon because of um uh, because of election because of a jury interference. No, because you of a think jury. That, you think that's a reason why people should not vote for him. Uh I would say overthrowing the United States government generally being a felon. And here's the thing, it's not even that he committed felons. I still wouldn't vote for him because his policies are trash. It's that he's never taken responsibility for a single thing he said. And I tell you what, I will absolutely agree with you, Matt, and I will I will just go ahead and be silent for the rest of this. If you can tell me a single thing, one thing in the entire time that Donald Trump has been president that he has taken accountability for, nothing, as as like, nothing, he because he can't do it, because he can't admit he was wrong, because he's a full-blown narcissist. Not a thing. He, he would get people wrong it. whenever he put people in his cabinet. He'd admit, like, that was a bad move. And then he would call them confidence. losers. Name something he did. And then he'd pardon Not them. something he could pawn off to people. Something he did that he was wrong about. Not, oh, I trusted somebody that ended up being a reasonable person and ended up telling the truth about me. Now I'm going to go around calling him a loser. Give me something that is a fault of his that he admits okay, so I this, did. This is my biggest thing, though. And no. don't get mad and start yelling. Don't get mad and start yelling. Is it going to answer my question? Yes, ish. Um, <laughs> is this could this not be said about every single person? What has no. Biden done wrong that he said? No, oh, well. he's no, not Biden. been convicted. He yes. apologized. The you ain't black Tell comment. me something Biden the did wrong. That he the said you he ain't wrong. black comment. He apologized the day after, but you guys he keep apologized running that one for into Af- the fucking ground. He apologized for his for for what he believed he did wrong on in Afghanistan. He apologized for using the term illegal at the State of the Union. It's the truth. He's just pandering. If you come over here illegally, you're you illegal. asked what has he apologized for? Now you're shifting the goalpost. Can you tell me what Don goal, again? So now we've it. answered it, and I'm not going to answer more any more of your questions. Can you it's tell like me has Donald bad. Trump ever taken responsibility for something he's done wrong? Sure. No, he didn't. So awesome. And you trust this guy? That's what you said when you came in here. You trust this guy? You trust a guy that has no him. ability? I said yes, I you did. Him. I trust no, you him didn't. more than Biden. Yes, I know. You okay. trust this if, guy at all that can't take responsibility for his wrongdoing? Would you rather drown or be burned alive? What the f***? That's what we're talking about. It's no, not. no, it's not. It's a great no, option. Okay, all right. Listen, Matt, can you tell me three things Biden's done that's bad? The border is the... 
a big one. What did he do there? It's the fact that he didn't do anything there. Well, he did do stuff there. He got Mexico to pay $1.5 billion. He put in the border bill that the Republicans rejected. Cool. He ended Just sign an executive order More today. Drugs coming I'm going to ask again, Matt, ever. and I'm, I'm going to stop. I'm not going to deflect off this topic. Can you tell me three things that Biden's done that's bad? The border. That's I already one. told you. I already told you. You I can't give me any you're specifics. Me no, you I asked you for three. specifics, Matt. Stop with the you know what I'm asking? You can't be this stupid. I asked he you a question of what he did wrong at the border. What has he done wrong as a policy position at the border? Not, oh, the border, because I just gave you that he did that was good. Tell me he what he did wrong stopped, at the border. He has not stopped drugs from coming through the border. I'm asking you for a policy Neither that Joe drop. Biden did or put into place that was bad at the border. He blocked Texas from being able to defend their own border. Because they can't do that legally. It's called federal preemption. And by the way, they've been killing people at the border. So I wouldn't say that that's a good thing. Can you Who's tell me something he did? People have been getting caught up in the wire. People have been dying there. Can you tell me something bad that Biden did? How Stopping Texas from killing? Right Stop. Now. How many talking. of them have to die? Stop. Please. Listen, I'm going to give you one more chance and then I'm done with your. Answer my goddamn question, Matt. You come in here and you do this every time and I'm so sick of it. We're not deflecting. Tell me something Biden did that was bad. I'm so sick of your. Every time you come in here with this gaslighting you can't even name things that he's done wrong and you're in here flapping your gab i just named one and you got mad no you it. didn't you didn't name anything that happened at the border you named something that texas cannot legally do that the supreme court already said they cannot legally do the supreme court ruled on it give me something biden did that was bad stopping texas from killing seven-year-olds at the border is not bad matt give me something he did bad he spent more trillions of dollars since any other president. Trump spent more. Give me something Biden did bad, Matt. He's drained the oil reserve. You guys were complaining about gas prices. He helped you out on that. Tell There's me something he did bad, to... Matt. There's always Tell me something he did bad. You were complaining you about gas prices. He released standard. it. Tell me I'm something he did bad. You don't, you don't Every time I know bad, you else because fault. you don't no, because you don't know anything bad, because you're a cultist. You don't know anything. You operate off everything feelings. I asked you for something. Why would lowering the gas prices be bad, Matt? It wouldn't be. You guys are sitting there complaining that the gas prices are high, complaining that he's using it to lower the gas prices, which is what you want him to do. Tell me something he's done bad, Matt. I can give you about a billion things Trump's done that's bad. One name thing. Him. I just named three. You haven't named I anything name that you asked for. I already told you, you haven't named anything. And if you try with the, I'll make sure you never come the back in here. I'm tired of it. I tell me something he did. You didn't tell me you, nothing. Shut the here. up. Thank you. Nothing. You have nothing. I'm tired of this. Every single day, these clowns. Matt, what's your Venmo? I'm going to send you money to get a clown makeup. You don't have anything. You guys are literally just cultists. You don't know why you believe what you believe. You point at the border. Donald Trump had more immigration in 2019 than in over a decade. Donald Trump put in Title 42. Title 42, when Joe Biden ended it, brought down the amount of people coming here by 70%. Donald Trump ended the border bill. You just say, shit. oh, he released oil reserves because you guys were complaining about oil prices. That's why he did it. But you want to be, not use it? In what way is it a bad thing that we look? Can anybody tell me how it's a bad thing that we lowered oil prices by using what we're used the reserves are for? Anybody? Anybody? No. Because it would be a stupid argument. I want the price of oil to go down. I complain about it. But the moment they try and do something about it. Not like that. No, don't do it like that. You don't have anything. You guys don't know anything about politics. You're just in a cult. You're just in a cult.